Hey everyone, Jeff here from Room to Discover. In this video, we're going to look at how to teach online using paper-based resources. Now, for those of you that are engaged in online teaching and learning, you know there are some great tools out there. You have websites where we don't need any print resources. However, sometimes we want to do things with, with print, whether it's just because we want um, that feeling of pen to paper. There are certain things that are just harder to do in a, in a purely digital environment. And we also may have some great activities, have graphic organizers, workbooks, whatever it is that we're used to using and we want to continue using. Now, it used to be pretty challenging to go from paper to digital, digital back to paper. It was like you were either doing the, the paper version or you were doing the digital version. Um, but now there's some great tools out there and we're gonna look at how you can use Google Classroom, an app called Kami, and um, an Adobe app for scanning PDFs from your phone. There are gonna be three steps. The first is creating our PDF, which is the digital version of our print document. Then we're gonna look at how to create an assignment in Google Classroom using the PDF we created. And finally, we're gonna look at all the ways that our students can complete those paper-based assignments, either by printing them out or actually completing them uh, right on the document using their computer or mobile device. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll need to teach online with our print resources is a PDF. Um, as you can see here, this little red box that says PDF in them. Uh, PDF stands for Portable Document Format. Uh, it was originally created so that uh, we can use documents across different devices, hence the word portable. Uh, back in the day, if you had a Microsoft Word document on your PC, you couldn't open it on your Mac, vice versa, um, or you move a document from one place to the other and the formatting changes. With a PDF, it, wherever you take it, the idea is that it's, it's fixed. It's kind of like an image of what the page looks like. Um, so here's an example of a PDF. Now, if you get resources on Teachers Pay Teachers, most of them are gonna be already in PDF format. All of our Teachers Pay Teachers resources come as a PDF. So um, if you already have a PDF, your first step is done. Uh, but you might not have a PDF. So we're gonna look at, at two ways that you can go uh, from a non-PDF to a PDF so then we can um, import it into Google Classroom. So here's a Google Doc where I designed the open number sentence proof graphic organizer. All I need to do is go to print and destination, instead of saying we're gonna go to one of these printers, I change my destination to save as PDF. Pretty much any word processor you use, Microsoft Word, Pages, Google Docs, is gonna have an option. Sometimes there's a little button like on Mac that says PDF over here instead of changing the printer. But either way, you can. the simplest way is just to print to a PDF if you already have something in a document form. So now let's say I don't have a digital copy, right? So here's that same document, but in print form. So if you have a worksheet, you have a workbook, um, you have something that's not digital and you want to make it digital so you can upload it, what you're going to want to do is scan it. Um, here is my iPhone and I've installed an app called Adobe Scan. It's a free app. Now, if you have an Android phone, you're in luck because you can actually scan right into Google Drive. If you just go to Google Drive, click the plus to add document, it will have an option to scan as a PDF, which is very convenient. I don't have an Android phone, I have an iPhone, so I'm gonna use Adobe Scan, it's almost as easy. I've installed this app, and now, as you can see, um, I'm not sure if I can get it in the frame here, because I'm videoing myself taking a video, but here, it's gonna try to detect the document, and now it says, okay, we have this document. This isn't the greatest scan, but you can do much better when you're not trying to record it. I'm going to continue. And now I open this document, save PDF, and I'm going to click share, share a copy. And I'm gonna go all the way over to more. And here I'm gonna find Drive. Now you need to have the Drive app installed on your phone to do this. You can also email it to yourself or however else you share things. And now I can just upload this. It's gonna save it into my Drive. Now we're gonna go and take this same document and add it as an assignment in Google Classroom. The 
next step to using paper-based resources in an online classroom is to create the assignment and we're going to use Google Classroom. Um, here my class is already set up. If you need help setting up your Google Classroom from scratch, we have another video that takes you from there. So we're going to jump right into our classwork tab. I'm going to create an assignment and I'm going to come to this paper clip to add the document. I'm going to find the PDF that we just created add that and the default is that students can view file but this won't make allow them to make changes to it now if I do students can edit file anything that one student does will show up on everybody's document what I really want is to make a copy for each student so now when I um, create the assignment every student's going to get a copy with their name so it's gonna say you know Jeff Lissandrello dash open number sentence proofs graphic organizer oh set my points let's say this is a 25 point assignment and click assign so now we're going to look at how we can have our students write on these documents as if it was a print resource and we're going to look at three ways to do it first is on a desktop computer so a laptop a desktop anything that's not a mobile device we're going to use google classroom with a program called Kami to write on the PDF. Uh, we're then going to look at how to do it with a tablet using using the Google Classroom app. And then finally, uh, we'll look at how we can um, actually print the resource and have them write on it with uh, a pen or pencil. So first thing here, I'm in Classroom on a desktop and I'm going to open this assignment. As you can see, here's my work. There's a PDF created. Jeffrey Lissandrello, Open Number Sentence Proofs Graphic Organizer. Now from here, I can't really do much with it. So instead, I'm going to open a new tab and I'm gonna to go to Kami. The address is kamiapp.com. I'm gonna choose Open from Google Drive. And to find the file, I'll go into my classroom folder. This is the name of the class, Demo. And in that class, now you can see here is PDF. Okay, so now I'm in Kami and I can put uh, a text box, right? So if I want to explain, um, um, I may want to do freehand. So for example, if I'm plugging in a, a value for x, 2 times 2 equals 2 plus too. As you can see, it's not as neat as I would love, but it does allow me to easily write on the screen just by clicking and, and using my mouse. So I'm going to click up here, save now, and now I'm going to turn in. Let's look at how we would do that with a mobile device. So another way that students can access this file is using a tablet or mobile device. So if we open up Google Classroom via the app. Here I have my iPad. Um, now I can go into the same class again. Now, in order to make edits, I'm going to have to unsubmit. Now if I open this PDF, I can actually edit right on the document and write on it with my finger or with a stylus to times two equals two plus two. Uh, if I need to do something with exponents, a lot of these things are just so much easier when I can treat it a lot like a piece of paper. So now I'm gonna save this and turn it in. So you can see that's even easier. Students who may be accessing from a phone, they can write directly on their phone, iPad, or anything like that. Um, then the, the final way that we'll access it is by printing. So to use this paper assignment by printing, again, here I am back on my desktop version of Google Classroom. I'll come into my work, print it. Um, but instead of saving as PDF, I'm gonna print to an actual printer and then I can print this out uh, right on it and the same way that we used scan PDF or using Google Drive on an Android device this is how the student would then scan this okay, I'm gonna add a document and I can upload this this would be from my hard drive I can use a link I can go to Google Drive and I'll find a 
different file. It's not already added. And then now I can just turn this in. For some students, they may prefer actually writing on the physical paper. If parents are helping them out, um, it may seem a little more uh, comfortable, a little more traditional. If they have printers at home, uh, why not print it and, and scan it out? So um, by using these, these methods, it should be pretty simple for you to take a print document, uh, upload it as a PDF, create an assignment with it, and then for your students to make those edits and return it. That way you can use a lot of the same activities and, and sheets that you've been using and just switch it to an online environment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Then head over to roomtodiscover.com slash online. You'll find downloadable resources, webinars, online coaching, everything that you need to take charge of your own professional development and learn from the comfort of your own home. That's roomtodiscover.com slash online. We'll see you there.